Hey everyone, I'm Pedro. Welcome to One Day Share Filmora. In today's video, I'm going to show you the ultimate guide to video animation and transition. By using the right animation and transition for your clips, you can create a strong and a smooth video. All these videos are super cool, right? They are icon animation, VHS style, old film, and VFX transitions. All of them have a great connection between several clips. In Filmora, through video animation panel and transition library, we can discover the best way to suit for the connection of our clips. Now, follow me. Let's explore how to achieve these visuals. Animation presets help you to create engaging videos and save a time animating your PNG icon or your videos. In Filmora 14, we have a two collection of different animation you can use for your project. On the right side, if you click on animation part, you can see this animation here. We have a fade in and fade out animation, pause animation, a slide animation from different direction, vortex in and out, zoom in and zoom out. To apply animation on your layer, you should click and drag them on your layer. If I play the video, you can see we animate the opacity of the video. To get a slower animation, you can increase the distance between the keyframes by click and drag them. To customize your keyframe to improve your animation, you can right click on your layer and select show keyframe animation or press alt shift key to get access to this window now if you click on this icon you can see the keyframes better and because we animate the opacity we should click on the opacity and now we can see the linear animation here to change the keyframe from linear to curve you should use these options if you click on the key your keyframe and click on the curve option you can see the animation now is changed to close this window you should right click on your layer and select hide keyframe animation for the second preset animation if you click on the preset motion here you can see we have a different animation here but when should we use them i usually use this animation for a png icons or an image on my videos but before adding the png icons to your timeline let's create a black ram on the video to see the png icons better so add the black image to your timeline increase the duration and on the right side click on the mask linear mask and rotate your mask 90 degree move it down to make the edge smoother just scroll down a little and increase the blur now we have a, a little black ramp here now select all your png icons and import them into your timeline uh, put them on the top of each other and increase the duration then on the basic part make them a little smaller put them near each other now go to the animation part for these icons i want to see them pop on the screen so we should use boom animation to apply the animation you should double click on it you can use other presets too it depends on your project and the image you want to animate the difference between animation preset and motion preset is motion preset has an animation for in and out by default so you don't need to change anything just increase or decrease your duration of your layer to get a slower or faster animation now arrange your layers like a stairs to see them on a screen one by one. Now let's check our final result. Now I will use the transitions to create a great different movie style, including the retro movie and the action movie styles. VHS style is a great way to evoke a nostalgia, create a unique visual and audio aesthetic for creative projects, or give a real and retro feel to your videos. As you can see, I have some concert footage in my timeline. And to add the transition between your layers, select the transition parts. To see the all the VHS transition together, we should use a search bar. And on search bar, type VHS and hit enter. Now we can see all the transition together. 
To add a transition to your video, just click and drag them and put them at the beginning or between these layers. You can trim the transition to get the faster transition. For the next video, I want to add damage VHS 2 and trim it again. You can add some cut on your layer to apply another VHS to get the camera damage. Just click on the split tool or press Ctrl B and add another VHS transition and continue like this to apply all transition between the layers. Now, to make your video much cooler, you can use some effect similar to this style by using the effect parts. And now, let's see the final result together. For old film style, I have some footage from Virginia Nature you know, some cows and green hills. And we can use a transition like a VHS and glitch again. So on search bar, type film. For this style, I want to add the film grid transition at the beginning of the layer because it has some camera shutter effect. We can use a film grid tool for the second cut, then apply film grid one, two, and three between the layers and change the duration to get a realistic result. At the end, you can use a cinematic border and film grain filter to make it more old film style. But let's use some title for the beginning of the layer. So click on the titles, use the old film title at the beginning of the layer, then select all the layers and move them to the right side and click on the title on the right side, type the cows. If I play the video, you can see we have some old film style. Then trim the extra frames because we don't need them and select all the layers and move them to the left side to get the faster intro. And let's watch the final result together. <laughs> For visual effects transition, you need to use them for action shots like a game scene or visual effects for your project. But how we can find them? On transition part, if you scroll down a little, you can see the VFX tab here. Click on it and you can see the all VFX transition here. As you can see, I have some epic shots in my timeline. And if you are looking for this kind of shots, you can use the static media tab here. For this shot, let's use the uh, energy bars transition. But remember to use the transitions similar to your project because you can use the ice transition for a shot with a fire. Apply this fire transition for this part. And let's see the final result together. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, you should check out our Filmora Creator Hub. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for using Filmora 14 and as always, stay creative.